Hello. Hey. Hello. I'm Richard. And I'm Pia. Thank you very much for having us tonight. We're going to talk a little about nutrition and food. We choose to call our talk Overfed and Undernourished. Today, there is a lot of information how you should eat healthy and how you should stay fit and a lot of, a lot of other, other things. It has never been so much obesity and overweight and lifestyle diseases. We think the problem is that people are not eating food anymore. We're eating food-like products. And when I say food-like products, we mean a diet that consists of highly processed foods like you find in every supermarket. And when you talk about food, we talk about having a diet that's based more on plant-based foods and whole ingredients and natural ingredients. I can say my story is that I moved to Trondheim 10 years ago. Right away I started working at the University of Natural Science, Glösaugen, up on the hill. And uh, I only ate vegetables back then, and I still do. And I came in and I started cooking for two to 200 to 500 uh, uh, students and teachers every day. And what I found out, I was on a sort of a low budget cooking for the students, uh, but my experience was that I sold a lot of vegetarian dishes. It looked better, it came out better on the budgets, and of course I made it a little bit better as, uh, as far as I could. So that uh, turned out to be really a very positive experience. After a couple of years, I moved uh, downtown, and uh, a little bit before Richard came along, I started up uh, this uh, small, uh, small uh, boutique, small diner, you can call it. It was the hard way, the old school classic hard way, started out with uh, absolutely nothing, and he reminds me now and then I still got most of that left. But we did that, and uh, in a way we made it happen. Slowly but surely, we've been uh, there. After a bumpy five years of learning how to run this niche restaurant and trying to fail and expand our concept, we seriously, seriously considered writing like a new book called Entrepreneurship, How Not to Do It. We didn't have a clue. We just tried to make this work. But we didn't do that, we carried on. And we traveled around to some big festivals and uh, served a lot of good food. We opened uh, a second place at Terry and Trondheim at St. Olaf's Hospital, a new place. Uh, and we, uh, me and Per had uh, teach more and more like food classes here in Trondheim. And last fall, we released our first cookbook called Simply Greens in English. So what we do is show or teach people how easy and simple it can be to eat more healthy and more plant-based. We found or we learned three important factors. One is taste, one is the nutritional, nutritional ratio of the meal, and the last one and the third is the process. So in other words, we're not trying to to complicate things. The other way around, we try to simplify everything we do. Starting with taste, of course the food has to taste good. Taste is about, you have five tastes that you can balance around in life. You've got salt, you've got sweet, you've got sour or acidly, and you have, uh, you have bitter taste, actually very important. And we have uh, umami or hot, or, is it, people think it's different about the five one but maybe umami, the depth and the protein-based flavor. And uh, say about the processed, the industrial designed processed food are very uh, designed so that it hits your reward system in the brain and uh, you can very easily get addicted to it. But what you want to do when you cook your own food, of course everybody of you cook your own food, uh, but what you want to do when you cook vegetable food, what we recommend, what we are sort of promoting, is that you want to be aware of the balance between sweet and sour because all the vegetables has this uh, natural sweetness to them but they need a little bit of uh, oomph to get it moving so <laughs> very often you have to amplify the sweet flavor a little bit and then you contrast it with some acid or some sour vinegar lime juice, citrus juice of some kind what we do 
so that we don't have to use a lot of uh, industrial produced stock and powders and spice mixes. We always uh, use uh, slices of, uh, of citrus of some kind. Lemon, oranges, limes, we cook them with because you'll have this extinct a bitter flavor coming out of the white and the skin and the peel of them. Looks very nice in the, in the dish and it tastes really good. And now we're going to demonstrate like real quick. Really quick. To make our favorite dressing that we use a lot. Sure, right away. Yes. We're going to make a, a French classic. It's a Dijon vinaigrette. Pay is going to have one part mustard. One part vinegar. One part water. Some salt. Some coarse ground sea salt. Yeah, we always use sea salt. It doesn't have to be the expensive dust as long, stuff as long as it's uh, unrefined. Yes. So, Tom Cruise. Then you're going to take some oil, around three parts. Then you're going to shake some more. Shake, yeah. shake. Oh, oi, oi, a toe oi, so. Oi. We didn't rehearse it. So should have rehearsed it. Yeah, we should, we should uh, rehearse it. Well, well it uh, sort of stays together. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to taste that afterwards uh, on some uh, Simply Greens <laughs> that we brought for you. But just to illustrate how easy to make a good dressing. The special thing about this dressing is that it really re represents all the different flavors and also the fat. Uh, with the oil you have the fat, uh, you can see the fat uh, <laughs> <laughs> nuance. So it's really, it's, it's very easy to do and it's perfect for any kind of vegetables, especially also for warm and uh, warm vegetables and warm uh, uh, legume pots and pulses and beans and chickpeas and stuff like that. It just oomps the flavor. It's all you need, in a way. Yes. <sighs> Nutritional ratio. Uh, we, we want people to feel fueled and in a light way when they eat our food. So we learned that if you have the right nutritional ratio, balance the meal, it's really easy to accomplish. So we divide into three parts. We have one part protein. Here are some lentils, here is the hummus. We have one part carbohydrates, brown rice, and then one part fiber. There's some salad there and some root coarse vegetables there. And there's some fiber here as well. This is a really simple way and a good starting point for most people when they want to start eating more plant-based. I grew up in the countryside, actually in Denmark. I was not wearing a helmet in those days, but... <laughs> I grew up in the countryside and I worked in the local meat factory and uh, you can learn positive things there too, you can say. First of all, you most likely will stop to eat meat. <laughs> that's the good thing about it. And you also learn how to work really efficiently. And that's good to learn. So that means uh, what we basically try to learn people, is show people, our show how when we do the courses and our book and stuff is how easily it can be done. Because it needs to be very easy. You have a good feeling when you do things, things that the optimal way. You're, just in a, you're getting a flow in a way, and that's very important. So let us show you with some recipes. So what we tell people mostly is to stop focusing so much on the ingredients and start focusing on the technique. This is a dish that takes five minutes to make. It can be varied in many, many different ways, and you yeah. don't have to. You can use any kind of pot, any kind of pulse, any kind of bean, any kind of lentil, you can, any kind of spice, but you do always the same thing. We start a hot skillet and some oil, and then you fry your onions and your garlic and your spices. And you fry them till they get a little bit brown, and you add some cooked chickpeas or cooked lentils or cooked beans of any kind. You toss in a little bit of water. Here we use some, uh, a little bit of the stock from the chickpeas. We cook it through and we add some coconut milk, and in five to seven minutes we reduce it. And we taste it and we adjust the taste maybe with a little bit of salt and also sometimes a drop of vinegar or lemon juice and a little bit of sugar or honey or whatever you want to mm. use. And in five to seven minutes you'll have a nice plate like this. It looks fantastic. We tossed in some uh, greens too just to make it look. But you can see the lime slice that came in right at the beginning mm. while we fried it in oil. And it cooked through and leaves a lot of flavor to it. It's a yeah. very easy way to infuse a lot of flavor in your, 
in your beans or any kind of uh, veg veggie curry, you would say. The next technique is how to make a plant-based or a veggie burger. The key here is to uh, learn how to use chickpea flour. It's a great ingredient. It's, it has over 22% protein, so it's the perfect binder to make like different patties and veggie balls and burgers and stuff like that. As you see, few ing ingredients and really easy to make. It stores well on the shelf for several years and it'll cost you 45 crowns for two kilos of chickpea flour and it's like just egg powder in a way. Mm. And uh, you just fry them on a hot pan in oil and if you do a lot of them, you just throw them into the oven and, and cook them through in 25 minutes in a hot oven. Yeah. And we use carrot and lentils for this one because they look really nice uh, when, when we introduce people at the courses. They see shredded carrots and green lentils, a nice color combination, but you can use any kind of root vegetable or coarse vegetable yes. and any kind of lentil, it doesn't matter. And add your favorite spice, whatever you want. Baked roots, baked coarse ve vegetable, the, absolutely the best way to, to bake uh, or to prepare root vegetables are to toss them into the oven and do the cook them in the oven for half an hour, 25 minutes. Mm. They'll intensivate the flavor and the color and you get the best. You spin them around a little bit, a bit of oil and uh, your favorite uh, a spice of the day into a warm oven. You pick them out and they look fantastic and they taste really good. And the rest of them you make into a soup tomorrow. Yeah. You'll get the most intense soup that way. Here you see uh, some fiber, root vegetables made into a burger, some lovely baked potato with a little bit, little bit of thyme. And here you got some protein. That's a hummus, chickpeas, pureed with some nice spices. Here's a really nice quote we like, we want to share with you. Eat food, not too much, mostly plants. And uh, we really like to be a part of the solution. Slash solution, slash evolution in a way you can say. So we think that's the way we're moving, yes. folks. So either you are with us or... <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for having us. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you.